Hey everyone, Reese here with Cranberry Alarm RI3D. Today we're going to be taking a look at our drivetrain system. We're going to see how the drivetrain sort of interacts with the uh, game pieces, how our bumper heights are going to change. We're going to be testing out um, a bumper gap of one inch, and we're going to be testing out a bumper gap of two inches from the ground. Um, so it should be pretty comprehensive in showing you how the, how the game pieces will be interacting with the bumpers. Uh, all more to come on First Updates Now. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So this chassis, uh, like we mentioned kind of in our overview, is that this is the same chassis that we used last year. Um, we had a pre-built. We like the size of it. Um, we like how small it is, and it's going to be really important this year for sharing the um, the chain with other teammates and also just moving around the field. Um, we're running four Neos on a 10.45 to 1 ratio on the 6-inch high grips on the AM14U4 chassis, but this will be identical to the AM14U5 chassis. Um, so we'll go ahead and get right into it, and we'll go ahead and show the robot interacting with the game pieces. So you can see here the friction of the, unlike most games where uh, the friction in between the game piece and the carpet might be pretty high and the, the game piece might fly under your robot. This year, the, uh, these uh, game pieces operate like they're on ice. Um, they seem to have a hard time going under the bumper, which can be a really good thing. You can see even here when we run up against the wall, we just squish it and don't really go under it. Even here, just keeps on pushing it. Slides like it's a puck on ice. We go and shove it up against the wall. So there we got it stuck under our wheel there, and it just kicked right out. So there we're now stuck on it. But if you keep driving around, you might be able to get out from under this. So if, if your robot is stuck in this state, this would count as controlling a game piece and would disallow you from possessing another game piece. So this is going to be something very important to take a look at if you come into this state. So go, let's go and Corey, go and try and just shake it loose as best you can. There we go. So it is possible to get loose, but it's just something to be aware of. So you can see here, um, when we were doing that test, we actually did have a little bit of damage on one of these notes. Um, you can look closely and you can see that damage, which matched pretty much perfectly up with our pulleys right here. So likely when we got stuck here, somehow this got interference with the pulleys. Um, or it could have been somewhere else in the robot. Either way, we ended up with some damage, um, but we got the uh, bumpers raised up to two inches, and we're going to go ahead and do some tests with that now. So here you can see our robot is now driving right over them, and we're now dead because we lost radio. So what are we, what are we hitting on right here? Go. Ch chassis. Chassis. Hmm? Oh, I see what you're saying. What's that? Yep. <clears throat> so here we got the note stuck under our robot. Um, and this is with a two inch gap. And so currently it's not riding on the bumpers, it's riding on our chassis of the AM14U4. This is going to be a standard height for all uh, KOP chassis that are going to be running the six inch wheels. And you can see this is having a tough time. Go ahead and take it vigorously and try and get, a, get that out of there. Now that. Game piece has completely disappeared. And remember, this is going to be a, um, a possession of a game piece, so you won't be able to possess another game piece outside of this. And at this point, uh, we would probably be done for the match uh, in terms of scoring. Now let's go ahead and, uh, you know you got it in there, Corey. Let's go ahead and let's just demonstrate squishing it. 
driving into it against the wall. Go and squish the damaged one. The damaged one. So as we drive under that, basically goes right under it. Unlike the, it squishes it a little bit. Uh, however, unlike the one-inch bumpers, uh, this basically goes sh straight under our chassis. The one-inch bumper squished it pretty much entirely and kept it from going under our our chassis. And now we basically possess the game piece. So if this is your method of possession, uh, it's pretty good. There we go. We're able to get loose of it. Go ahead and do a spin on it. Let's say you're, do, you're trying to grab a game piece and you just need a quick change of motion. So there we go. Now we got it under our chassis. And here... They were able to drive it out under nicely. Driving up against it slowly, it looks like it just nudges it nicely. Um, however, let's go ahead and see a uh, high speed. So when it's caught directly under a wheel, it's fairly easy to run out of. Um, however, uh, it's really easy to get under this with the two-inch high bumpers. Thank you guys for watching this video of a demonstration of the bumper heights in our chassis. Uh, be sure to check out more RA3D videos of Cranberry Alarm on First Updates Now. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.